and welcome back to another episode of Cartier Fragrance. I'm Carissa. I'm Tierney. And on this channel we talk about mostly perfume and sometimes beauty tips and products. We also talk about lifestyle and reviews on all things but mostly fragrance. Okay, so as some of you guys know, we did hit our 100 plus subscriber hit or mark that we we're trying to hit. And so I did uh, notify the giveaway winner and she's going to be sent her goodies. I think next week. We're actually going to be snowed in for today and probably tomorrow. So I figured what a better time, not a better time, than to talk about white sweater fragrances. So as you guys know, we all love white tea fragrances, which would be things that are fresh, maybe light and airy that we wear in like the spring and summertime, maybe the fall, wherever you live in America. But I thought, well, sometimes people aren't into like really super rich, deep fragrances in the winter and they might still want to wear something light and fresh and not too in your face. So these are going to be um, white sweater fragrances. Okay, the other thing I have to say is this is gonna be our last video until probably at least another two weeks. So sorry that we're not being as consistent mm -hmm. as usual, but we are gonna change that in the new year. But I only have like 14 minutes left of storage on my phone, 14 minutes of like video and storage on my phone. So right now we're at 13 minutes. So we're gonna keep this under probably 11 minutes. Okay, so thank you for your patience. As soon as we upload, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your bell so you can get all of our notifications. Okay, so our first perfume is going to be called, it's called Cloud Nine by Vitalia Ferro. So you can find his work on Instagram. Go ahead and spray your hand with that. This is airy and atmospheric, but it's also cozy and it's the perfect amount of sweet. So yeah. if you go onto his Instagram, it just says the main notes are snickerdoodle, vanilla, and amber, I believe. I sugar cookie, those. I said sugar cookie. Oh, okay. sugar cookie, amber, and vanilla. But I don't think it's like overly sweet. Do you? No. There's it has like a light airy quality mm -hmm. to it. And I feel like if it was going to be a color, it would be white. This part, white with glitter. Okay. Um, I also said that there's something fresh and easy going about this that makes it perfect for everyday wear. It's also very affordable. I think this is like seventy dollars. So all of these are under one fifty. There is one that's a little bit more, but you can probably find it cheaper. We'll get into that. All right. So that is Cloud Nine by the Talia Ferro. It is with the beginning. The next one is going to be called The Now from Sarah Horowitz. And this is actually might be my favorite out of all of these. Oh, we're only doing four. I think this might be my favorite though. You liked it a lot. No, you don't like it? <laughs> Maybe. You like it. When, I, <laughs> when you smelled it like a couple days ago, you're like, oh, I like it a lot. You don't like it now? Okay, let's get into the notes. There's, is there leather in there? There's weird no, leather. it's not. There is no leather at all. Maybe your skin wears so weird. I smell like a weird, like fatty, like animal fat smell. No. Maybe that's just your mom. <laughs> no, this is what it is, okay? okay? It is powdery, but it's also crisp and clean. It has a similarity to Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun, but without the coconut. I feel like the fig and the neroli together kind of give it like a coconutty vibe. It's kind of tropical. Um, it also has white tea, fresh cut grass, fig, neroli, white amber, oceanic musk. So to me, I think it's like light and green, but it also has like a powdery quality. It makes it like kind of like cool and cozy. What do you think? Are you not a fan? I'm the hugest fan. Oh, that's so weird. You liked it a couple days ago. You actually loved it. You're like, oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Well, anyways, that is The Now by Sarah Horowitz. I do like that it's very crisp and clean. You can definitely wear it uh, every day. And that one is about 140 so I think that that's a little bit overpriced for how small the bottle is and that it's not like super unique. So none of these are super unique. The How I picked these to be on this list was that they had to be wintry enough. I had some notes in there that kind of grounded it so it wasn't like an actual citrus forward mm -hmm. scent, but it also had to have notes that kept it clean and light and fresh. Um, so there's definitely no leather in that. All right, the next one is Musk Nomad by Gutal. Go ahead and spread that on your hand. Maybe on this hand. So this has papyrus. I never know if I said that right. Papyrus, papyrus. White musk, ambrette, patchouli, labdanum, and tonka bean. I do not smell any patchouli mm, in this. That sounds good. Unless it's, if it's like to kind of help it not be too light and like fluttery. What this do you one think? smells like a post office. A post office? Okay. Yeah. So for this one, um, this, I wrote down that this is for people that like the idea of not a perfume by Juliet has a gun, but they didn't care for it when they actually smelled it. So not a perfume has ambroxan and cetalox. So it has a very skin smell, but some people just find that those two molecules to be too screechy. And so this is very well done in that it smells like your skin better, but, um, 
your skin but better but it's i know i messed it up your skin but better but it also has a little bit of warmth but i would not say this is spicy at all um yeah i said the notes so i also said that the dry green qualities of this so there's also angelica so that helps keep it um from being too heavy so it's like light and green and fresh but it also has that skin scent your skin but better vivi so last time we left all of our dogs so i figured we would do it this time this is one of our dogs vivi oh are you just going to be on there? Okay, she's just having a cameo moment. All right, so the final one for this video is called Sci-Fi by Alex, Ellis Brooklyn. Okay, this is Sci-Fi. I just have a little travel spray. For my friend Kelly from That Smells Divine. If you don't follow her, you should follow her channel. I know I'm going to. Oh, okay. Um, but you should follow her. She actually sent me this, and you're probably thinking, you know, Sci-Fi. It's definitely known for being fruity. It's not super unique, so don't think you're... Any of these are not super unique, but that wasn't the theme of the video. That was not the assignment. Okay, so I'm going to spray this on this hand. Look at that worked out. Four perfumes, two hands each. That's homeschool math right there. I can say that because you're homeschool. Smell that. Mm, that one's good. I okay. Like so this is your favorite out of the four, maybe? Um, I think I like this one. The... Smell that one now. Does that smell better? That's a the now. Bit, yeah. Maybe you smelled it on me after it had died down a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Okay. So this is Sci-Fi by Ellis Brooklyn, like I said. It has bitter orange, green tea, pink freesia, vanilla bean, and cashmere wood. So, I said that, this, first of all, Sci-Fi is a ridiculous name for this perfume. It does not smell otherworldly. I think, I love Sci-Fi, so I feel like if you're going to name it Sci-Fi, it should be something that's really, like, out of this world, unique, have something about it that makes you think of, like, yeah, maybe even, like, metallic elements, like, you know, how mm -hmm. Sci-Fi has, like, anyways, come back, okay. So, I feel like the cashmere wood and the vanilla bean in this really help smooth out the bitter orange in the beginning. And overall, it just gives you like this um, fresh, kind of like slightly sweet gourmand essence. But it's definitely still white sweater worthy because of that citrus top notes in there, of those citrus top notes in there. Yeah, I like, I like it. it. I said that this is the equivalent of a fancy orange meringue pie. Yeah. So I think it's like a little gourmand, but it's not going to be like in your face sugar bomb. It's very good. Yeah. So those are our four fragrances for white sweater fragrance. And then usually at the end of the video, we try doing a beauty tip. But I thought for today, since we're stuck in the house snowing, and I thought I tried to get my... What's that? Oh, you're like... <laughs> the way you said we're stuck in the house We're stuck snowing. in the house. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's, we're stuck in the house. It's snowing outside. We're snowing. We're so, hey, let me tell you, my ADHD has been really bad today. I've been like thinking of all the stuff I have to get done before Christmas, and I'm just like all over the place. I just need to calm down, have some tea, don't spill it on my white sweater. Tony spilled hot chocolate on her white sweater, so she I had to did. switch out with the shirt on. Again. <laughs> hey, just give it time. I'll spill something on here. Um, so anyway, so to go back to, it's snowing outside, not in our house. We do live indoors. Um, <laughs> we're not that kind of homeschool family. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, it's snowing outside. So I like to read in the winter time because you're kind of like tucked in. It's time to read. Catch my reading. So we're each going to kind of show you our books of the moment. So I'm reading yeah. Lore by Alexandra Bracken, I believe her name is. Yes, don't look at that. It's kind of beat up. Alexandra Bracken. It's kind of like... Um, Greek mythology, but it has like a twist to it, and it's like mm -hmm. you belong to like the house of your last name, and you're like all fighting each other. You have to like fight to the death, or you can pass it on to like another god or goddess. So, anyways, it's actually really good. I'm not too far into it. I think I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like 88 pages in. Okay, all Go right. Ahead with your books, um, I actually just learned how to read last week. <laughs> That's Sad. a bad joke. I learned how to read a while ago. Um, but she hated reading. Don't forget. I, I did. I will say, even though I knew how to read since I was like I don't know three or something. Yes. Um, I haven't. Wait, would you say three? Yeah, I don't know if that's. Maybe right. not quite that yet. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But the first like full book I read was just last year. So I just got into reading like last year this year. But I am reading Jeanette McCurdy's "I'm Glad My Mom Died" book. And of course, you hear the title and you're like, "Oh my gosh!" But once you start reading it, you really start to understand it. I'm only like I think 30 pages in, but you got, already you kind right. of get the gist of their relationship. You probably heard about this book. Maybe it's been yeah. kind of all over the news and her mom was awful. Yeah. And so I always encourage the girls, both of them to read ever mm -hmm. since they were little. And I have, yeah. I have actually been their homeschool mom for, well, since you were born. Mm -hmm. But Ava, um, I started homeschooling her in third grade mm -hmm. and then she already graduated. But anyways, yeah. so that was our video. Yeah. Sorry, we were a little bit all over the place. It was actually our uh, first time filming in like two weeks. So thank mm -hmm. you for those that waited and didn't unsubscribe yeah. just because we didn't have a video every day. We tried to make them once or twice a week, but you know, right before Christmas, it gets crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing hair and makeup. I, I actually work retail. Tierney is doing homeschool and we've been having some off days mm -hmm. as far as like, I'm just giving her 
videos to watch on YouTube, like historical videos or like finding out about your favorite artist and write a report on her or him. <laughs> So things like that. But I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Hopefully we will see you before then. If not, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we'll see you in January. Oh, comment down below your favorite white sweater fragrance. Thanks, guys. Bye.